I was, um, you know, an ideological recruit. Um, I was a true believer in Britain and the British Army, and all I wanted to be was a British soldier. Um, but it was through my experiences as a soldier um, that led me to a point where I no longer agreed with Britain's aggressive foreign policy. Um, I think it's irrational. It, it doesn't achieve what we want it to achieve, and it's actually detrimental to to our sort of like larger interests as a society and um, and so that's what led me into anti-war activism and I also feel a great sense of obligation and duty um, especially for example to the people that I injured and, and terrorized in Iraq a sense of obligation and duty to them um, to try to work to restrain our government to prevent other people from going through similar experiences that they went through Protest is, is just one tactic within what should be a broad strategy in order to achieve an aim. The military would use the term a full spectrum approach, which means you dominate all the different possibilities and try and gain an advantage in all those possibilities to achieve your aim. So for example, if we were looking, for example, um, let's pick an issue, to rid the United Kingdom of nuclear weapons, um, protest would be a part of that that strategy would be a tactic within that strategy and, and that would be for the purpose of raising public awareness of the issue and also as a show of opposition uh, or a show of support for that issue. However, that's not going to achieve your aim on its own and so there are many other strands that need to be developed and pursued.